Hello, it's me, Tech Puzzle, and um, I'm doing a review on the mini series called Melinche, which was, I guess, the point of view of Melinche during the conquest. And very interesting, very confusing because it's a very low budget. I would say the one thing I do like is the accuracy on the native clothing. Um, usually, the other, well, like the show Hernan, they just got stuff from Michaels and just put it together. But this one, you can tell it's made out of cotton. The feathers, they couldn't get that are exotic. They actually paint them so it's not like pheasant or rooster like the Hernan one, which I thought was funny. But this one, they actually like, they try, you know, you could tell they kind of cut it, like some of these long feathers, but then they dyed them and they try to make them look like the real thing. Like you could tell they weren't, but they at least tried, which I think is a good thing. Um, it may be confusing because there's a lot of jumps in the show. Um, like it was, I would say the first and last episode kind of go together. So it's like a cycle, like it goes in a circle. Like you can watch it like over and over again. And that's, <laughs> I think that's how they set it up. Um, but like there'll be a lot of jumps. Like let's say when they go to Tenochtitlan, it just jumps like it doesn't show you like they are they'll be in Motozuma's palace and then it'll be there and all of a sudden they'll be in Veracruz like you didn't see them get out or anything like that but they're, like, they're there and they're Veracruz Cortez you know settles all those people and then goes back but you know he's in the palace again and he's upset because you know Pedro Pedro Alvaro practically caused the the, um, the massacre of Toshkat. And, um, you know, and then from there, um, so you don't see any battle scenes. And that's, I think, you know, like, you'll, you'll see hints that they're going to battle sometimes. And it'll be like, they'll start running, but then they'll cut. And you're like, okay, what am I watching? <laughs> Like, it, I, I think that's the hard part about these stories about the conquest is it takes, um, I don't know, I guess it depends on your budget and who's making it. Because you had the Hernan one, which tried to make Hernan look like the good guy. And then you had um, um, this one, which they had a point of view of Malinche. A lot of liberties here and there. I would say it's kind of those hard things where you Technically, you could say it's not true, but technically, you could say, oh, they did talk to one another, but um, we have no evidence, written documents or anything like that. Um, but I would say the main thing they have is mostly Bernal Diaz del Castillo's writings, I would say, is what they mostly have, like the awkward translations the miscommunication like if you read a lot of these old stuff like from um from the Florentine Codex book 12 and Bernardo Diaz you could you could read it and you'd be like okay there's this awkward stuff because they're like, oh they they looked that was weird and like and they, they said they can repeat it which is kind of weird for people who could remember like I'm saying most of the writings happened after the conquest many years and I'm like why would he bring that up in history in documents but you know, that's, I guess they wanted as much realistic as possible, but um, let's see what else. Um, the liberties I would say they took was they had Malincha get pregnant in the beginning of the conquest. And then she had the miscarriage before they went to Tenochtitlan, which I think is very weird because I'm saying no writings have that. And I think that's weird that Hernan had that like before the Noche. Um, La Noche de Victoria, or the Spanish called La Noche Triste, and I don't know, that was a weird, weird, weird thing. Um, I would say, yeah, they had like a lot of liberties on who she spoke to, but based on what I would know, say it's kind of realistic in that point, but based on what they talked about, we don't have proof of what they talked about. Like, they had, you know, her talking to the priest and he's talking about Catholicism, you know, 
and she has questions like we we don't have any written documentation on that but based on what we know we assume it happened you know but they had that type of idea a few i would say they took some liberties on making it very feminist um because they had um valencia not really that hernan cortez kind of broke up her but she broke up with him <laughs> which you know it's kind of weird but um and another word liberty was after the con well like the first it's it goes very like i would say the first three chapter well the first one kind of goes back and forth before you know the whole going to the noche clan second third has the noche clan fourth has maybe 10 20 minutes um pretty much once they leave the noche clan and then um surrendering they have that like maybe 10 15 minutes in that fourth episode which kind of seems weird like you would think that would be the big one Especially for all the translation you have to you have to do. Um, let's see. They had um, what's his name? Um, I always forget his name. They always call him by his last name, Aguilar. Um, going crazy, <laughs> which I think is funny, because they had um, like he wants to learn now what so he could be the translator. But Melinda practically tells his his translator to mess up, like mess him up very badly on learning now so he's just a bad translator and she kind of like mm -hmm. <laughs> which i think is funny um what was something weird but i would say uh, that's about it really five episodes an hour each so you have five hours the fifth one i would say the fifth chapter took a lot of liberties um well the fourth one half of it took liberties because they had cortez's wife come to mexico which I'll be honest, I never really done research more on Cortez because it'll be like doing Hitler. Like, why do you want to know all the extra stuff? We just know he's a bad person, caused all this trouble, and like, why go beyond that? But they had Cortez's um, Spanish wife come, and she's like, you know, he's a big native chaser, which I thought was kind of funny. Like, it wasn't Spanish, but she said to Belinche. It's like, he has a Taino woman in Cuba. You know, I don't remember the baby's name or the, ba or the baby mama's name. Pretty much that's what he, she said. La mama de, del bebe, which is baby mama. <laughs> um, which, I'll be honest, I laughed at that part. Um, let's see what else happened in it. That's funny. Um, so they had that, you know, he's like, oh, he's probably going to chase some other woman, native woman, which in real life he did. Um, but it had a lot of feminist things. I was in the final, the final fifth chapter where um, Malinche goes to Yuluta, which is um, the only time we ever hear about this writing is from Bernal del, del Castillo. And I'm going to be honest, I always question it because he is the big nerd in the Spanish. So he read a lot of fantasy stories. So he knows about, you know, people who were nobodies who became kings and queens. And I think that's where I think he gets his idea from, but I think no one wants to be like, oh, Malinche was a nobody, but, you know, he's like, oh, yeah, she was a princess. The Mexicas kind of screwed her over, her family over, and so she became, you know, a slave. Well, her mother tries to put her as a slave to save her, which, you know, I'm like, that to me, I don't know, maybe it's just me, and maybe because he's the only source we get about Malinche's background, about being nobility, even though you have the Tashkatecas, when they draw her in the codices, they put her as always a servant. Like, there's no nobility lineage. Even though the Mexicas kind of, the few drawings we do have her, they have her as look like nobility, you know. So, it, I guess it depends how you want to see it. Um, I would say, yeah, the, I would say there's a lot of modern texts. You find out one of the Spaniards, they never name him. But you eventually find out the guy that always always around her and talking to her is Bernal del, del Castillo. But that's like the very last episode. And you're like, okay. They never mentioned his name throughout the four, the previous four episodes. And they do now. And they have her trying to escape with Martin to Oluta. And that's where it ends. Just Cortez saying, Malancha! And that's how it ends. And 
I don't know. I guess that's my issue. Anyway, I feel like I talked too much. I guess I'll talk to you guys later. Um, okay, bye.